Hi, this is Gonzalo from the AWS Glue team, and today I'm going to show you how Glue Notebooks leverage Code Whisper in order to increase your development productivity. Thanks to this new feature, you can get assistance in line instead of having to go through the documentation or the internet to get help. Before you can use it, you have to take care of a small step, which is uh, give permission to the role that you use in the notebook so it can use Code Whisper. You can just add an inline policy to your role, search for Code Whisper permissions, and choose the permission to give recommendations. And that's it, just give it a name, and it gets added to the role, and now you can use it. So I have created a notebook configured with the role that it was authorized to use Code Whisper. So now Code Whisper is running and is waiting to help me. So I also started a session with the common configuration, and now I'm going to show you a few examples of how Code Whisper can help you. Okay, let's start building a sample data set so we can play with it. So I'm going to ask it. Okay, so once I enter, it's going to start offering me suggestions. You can also trigger it itself. Um, let, let's pick this one. So I click tab to accept, then it's going to keep offering more examples until I finish the line. And then it's going to enter asking me to offer me to put the column names for the data frame. Okay, this looks good. Tab to accept. And that's it. So I have now my data frame. It's now suggested if I want to convert it to dynamic frame, not yet. So I'm going to say now um, count uh, unique values. So it's going to give me the code. I can just tap to accept and enter to run the cell. And it's telling me that, yeah, all the values are unique. Let's now do something a little bit more practical. Let's say I want to uh, add a column with the total price for each order. So it is a little bit vague, but the algorithm is able to figure out correctly. Let's print out to see the result and check that it's correct. So yeah, it's multiplying the columns and it looks right. To wrap up, let's imagine that you just now want to save the data frame. Sparky file, so on S3. So it's going to suggest me the line that I need to use. I just have to put the path, and, and that's it. So in this short demo, you have seen the possibilities that artificial intelligence through Code Whisper can bring and how it can help you be more productive when writing your code. Thank you for listening.